we've got the air drying kit here from Create and Craft. We can remove the clay like so. And we're going to use the rolling guides that come with the kit and the child friendly uh, rolling pin. So what I'm going to do first is roll out a sheet of clay and then from this I can create the components for a small heart shaped box. So this will form the lid, the base and the walls of the box. Once I'm happy that I've got approximately the right thickness, I can put the rolling guides to one side. I like to roll sort of equally from both sides if at all possible. That sort of evens out any of the stresses in the clay. going to use one of the tools from the uh, pack of modeling tools. I'm going to sketch out a heart shape first. like so, and then I can cut this out. If you're not happy with the shape, smooth it over and draw it out again. Or you could make a simple paper or cardboard template if you wish. If you don't feel confident in just cutting the shape straight into the clay. That's the basic form for the base. Now I need to cut the clay to form the walls and I'm going to use the rolling guide here to cut the walls. So we need two of these to start off with. And we're going to wrap this round to create the walls of the box, like so. I'm going to cut the ends straight first. I've got a damp sponge here. I'm just going to wet the surface. We don't want to get it too wet, just enough to give some adhesion. Join the wall to the base. Cut that off. And you'll notice what I've done is I've cut this off to the thickness of the next piece of clay that will come round and join. So wet the end of this, join onto there. like so, and then cut off the excess. Just 
just a little bit of water and we're going to smooth these two edges together. Like so. Same with the sides. This is basically smoothing the bottom into the walls. Making sure we've got all the seams smoothed in. So, and use one of the other tools just to smooth around the inside. Flat edge. joining the inside edge where the two parts of the heart wall come together and on the outside as well. That's the simple box shape and we can use the modelling tools just to smooth the two parts together. You can leave this to stiffen off a little bit more and then work on it. Now we place this upside down on here and we can draw around this. So we're using the box that we've made as a template for the lid. Like so. Now you can have that lid exactly the same size as the box, or you can go a little bit larger, but I'm going to sort of cut more or less to size. Again, this is ideal for small children because you don't have to use sharp tools. That's the top of the lid. I'm going to smooth that edge down now. Give it a chamfer. Just a damp sponge on the top. Again, we don't want to get it too wet. That will form the lid. Again, just a little bit of moisture. Soften that edge. And then so that the lid will actually sit in position, we're going to cut And to use the thin edge of the rolling guides. Like 
think so. And again, wet this. And then we're going to inset these. And this is taking into account the thickness of the wall. Again, just a little bit of moisture from the sponge. And we want this one to Thing. Now we're going to put the lid on but we won't leave it on because the clay is still sticky at this stage and if we leave the two parts together there's a chance that they might actually stick together. So that will go on there and then what we'll do when this dries off a little bit we can come back to that and we can, once we're sure that's it, we can chamfer that a little bit and cut that back so that we get a perfect fit together, like so. What we'll do now is leave that to completely dry, and once it's completely dry, we can tidy up any rough edges, and then we can use the acrylic paints to paint and finish off the piece. <laughs> 